We're back in the plush suspension workshop. Five tips in five minutes. And today we're doing home mechanic in rear shocks. Let's go. And we're in. Right, first tip, removing the air from an air shock. You might think that you can just push on the air valve and all the air comes out the shock. Problem is you've got negative air pressure behind the piston. And this is usually swapped when you pump the shock up for your weight through the little ports by compressing the shock or the fork. Um, you actually need to get that pressure back out. And the best way to do that is to bounce on the, uh, on the air valve. You might have seen this tip in our fork five tips in five minutes. So just bounce the valve and you should equalize the pressure nicely then. If you don't, you'll end up with a shock that looks a bit like that. So completely stuck down, so you'll see that. The problem is with that is when you undo the air can to service your shock, you have to pull against all that pressure and there'll be a big bang. If you haven't done that and the, for, the shock has actually just stuck itself down by itself on your bike, the problem there is that all your positive air has pushed past the main air seal into the negative air chamber and your shock is now stuck down. Now, this causes a real problem with getting the air, the air can off and you'll see lots of tips online with people putting Allen keys through the eyelet to catch the air can, but there's a little tip to do this a lot safer. The best way of doing it is to take a hypodermic needle, like this one, flatten it in a vise or if you're posh like us, in your Nipex pliers, like that, until it's completely flat. We're good, I've got time. And then it gives you this really thin, super fine needle that you can slide in here underneath this seal and release any pressure that's stuck. Now you can hear that hissing away and you can even see the shock coming back to full pressure. Once that's completely fully extended, you can undo the air can safely. There's no big bang, there's no drama. You've got, you haven't got an Allen key trying to catch everything. Nothing's flying around, super, super safe. And you don't scratch anything because they're super soft. Uh, hypodermic needles, hopefully. Um, not something that we usually do in the workshop, but a good home mechanics tip. Right, next one. Uh, the air can rebound trick. Uh, the air can rebound trick is, once you've got your air can off and you need to fit it back onto the shock, it can be quite tricky, again, working against that negative air pressure. So you can see I put the air can on there and actually to get the air can to meet the threads here, I'm having to push against all that pressure. That's actually pretty hard to do. So there is a tip for this. Set your rebound dial to fully slow and compress the shock completely. So if you push the shock down like that, the shock will hold itself shut because the rebound damper's doing its job and you can just tighten the air can down. There's no more forcing, forcing against the, the pressure you can just tighten that down and it's done. So that is our other tip. That's a fantastic tip. Last tip then. My last and favorite tip is not necessarily a rear shock one, but once you've serviced your rear shock, you might end up with a layout like this. Lots of bits and bobs that was in the service pack that you're gonna replace. Um, if you lay it out like this on a blue roll and you're ready to throw it away, one of the greatest things you can do is roll it up in a rag, hold it in your hand, and put it in a glove. Put that in the bin, and then if you lose any parts, you know exactly where they are if you missed something. We're done. Look at that. 57 seconds left. So here's 57 seconds of me just stood still. I'll show you what happens if you don't do that. If you just let the air all out in one go, this happens. <laughs> Didn't do it. <laughs> Didn't do it. <laughs> if you don't do it, this happens. It didn't, it didn't work. It didn't do it. I just did it off camera and it was fine. 
If you don't do it, straight away like this it didn't do it Daz. did it not? no it started squishing on my finger when i first started it so it didn't do it that's they're the worst for it normally oh man 